Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scoggle and today I'm going to show you how you can make a custom star brush. Uh, really quick, easy, it's going to be an image brush. And um, But the how you make other brushes here, custom brushes, is the steps are the same, but you've got to make your brush different. If you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, leave your comments down below. So let's just get to it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go over here to our trusty um, rectangle tool. I'm just going to uh, drag ourselves over here. We're going to remove the stroke. It's not really that important, but we're going to go up here and fill it with black. That just makes it a lot easier to see what we're doing. And we're going to hit our new, so we got a new layer here. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to use my double star here. We're going to make sure we have no stroke. We're going to fill it with white. Cool. And you just want to place this randomly. This isn't too random, but you get my point. You just got to spread them around a little bit. So that is a bit too big. So I'm going to remove that one. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to go mark the top one we have. Like so. Go all the way down. Hold down shift. And we're going to control G. Make a group out of it. And we're just going to call this brush. Now we're going to go down to effects. So we're going to go in here. We're going to add... A Gaussian blur with a 0.1 pixel. You can see that blur is in just a little bit. We're gonna to go to outer glow. Then we're gonna go here and set this. I like to use purple because that's what I tend to go for of a more purplish hue when I do astrophotography. So that looks decent to me. I'm gonna actually take it up just maybe a 0.2, 0.3, like so. Perfect. Then we're going to go in here, hit inner glow, make sure you mark it. I'm going to go and take this into like an orangey uh, white, very subtle, and then just give it a point one here. Perfect. We hit close. Now we have our brushes here. We're just going to take off our rectangle, and this is why we. Uh, made that black layer because you need to have it transparent so we're going to go up here and go to export png make sure we export it as a square hit export save it someplace you remember it star brush uh, three because i already made i got a couple more so now we have saved it we can turn this one back on and turn this one off now we just gotta import it make some tweaks to it and then we'll be done so how we do that is make sure we have brushes up here and then we're gonna go over to these little horizontal lines we're gonna make a new image brush make sure you pick that image you just made or export it out it open now we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here and we're going to see it right here. So if I hover over Starbrush tree, you can see there. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard. You can see now we have some brushes, but that does not look uh, really good. I can make it bigger even. Let's see that. It, it's, it's not looking good yet. We have to modify this a little bit. So make sure we're on this one. Go up here to more. Or you can go up to this one, edit brush. It doesn't matter. It comes to the same thing. So we're going to add in a little bit of rotation here. Spacing, we can take a little bit off. And then we're going to go over here to size jitter. This is really tough to see. It's going to be here. You might have to go down on the size to make it see. Or go up on the size a little bit. Now I can see that's too little. Now I can see it here. So if we're in dynamics, go size jitter, just pull it up a little bit, 
accumulation and then a little bit of flow and rotation jitter just put that up a lot of scattered x and y and then shape jitter a little bit up and i use a pen normally to um to do this so i have it on pressure if you don't have a pen like a tablet just go and use random i'm gonna i'm actually gonna do it for this one i'm gonna just take random because they have not my uh, tablet hooked up yet so once you did this you're good and uh, you can uh, hit duplicate and now we're gonna see if we're gonna have uh, i'm just gonna take this brush down a little bit you can go up here and now you can see we have another one here and this is just gonna be brush copy it there see and that's the one we made so i'm gonna click on this one right click on it and then delete brush and then we're gonna go to the brush copy right click on it edit or uh, rename brush and then just call it star brush 3. you can close this now and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller again. And we're going to clear everything that's on there by pressing Ctrl and Alt. That marks the whole board and just hit back. Then you Ctrl D to deselect. And now you can see we have uh, stars coming in in all shapes and sizes. So if you now wanted to implement this into a picture, so I'm just going to go... Um, hit V on my keyboard. We're going to go up here, new. I'm going to choose this one. Just create a new artboard. Go to stock. And we're going to call it Astro, or not call it, search for it. Just pull one randomly out here. That kind of has a lot of stars on it, but it's good enough to prove a point. So now we just make it bigger. Okay. There we go, perfect. I'm gonna just lock this layer and then we're gonna add a new uh, layer on top. Hit B on our keyboard. Make sure we choose that brush. And now we can see we can just, that's a, a bit too much. They're too big, right? So Command Control C, deselect, make the brush smaller. might have to just go up a little bit here and you see the size here you can move it like that close and then we can increase our brush size now a little bit and it'd be easier to so that looks pretty good so I'm just gonna clear that now you can see we're back to how the picture looked originally and if you just wanted to add in some more stars here so now if I hit V on my keyboard, we can go here and turn it off and on. So you can see it's a really quick, easy, simple way to add a little bit more stars in if you don't have it or if there's not enough stars for you. So I hope, hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below if you want to help need help with anything you can also ask down below here in the comments and i will do my very best to try and help you uh, until next time